Today is going to be a very interesting and fun video, and here's why. Today is convincing Austin that I am girlfriend material. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? The last one that we have left is the kiss. I don't really know. I'm just gonna full send it and see what happens. What's up guys, it's Allie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today it's going to be a very interesting and fun video and here's why. So as you guys know and hate, me and Austin have been taking things like honestly extremely slow to a level I've really never even seen done before. And if I'm being real, I'm kind of starting to get like tired of it too. Yeah. With that being said, something needs to change. And of course, I took it upon myself to be that change. So here's what I did. The other day, I asked Austin what his like ideal girlfriend material, like things that he looked for were, so that I could kind of get an idea of what he's looking for, so that I could make sure that I am exactly those things. Is that creepy? Is that manipulative? I don't know. Before all of you girls and guys judge me, I want you to know, number one girls, that every single one of you does the same exact thing. Number two guys, every single girl that you're with has done the same exact thing. So you either love us or you take us. <laughs> What? No, don't take us, all right? I gotta get back on track. So these are the eight things that Austin said are the ideal things he looks for in a girlfriend. All right, so let me tell you, these eight things that are perfect girlfriend material, these are the things that I would know, let me you know what I mean? I got you. So the first one is if she's really, really good with my mom and my sister, like you could go over the house, just leave her there, and she gets along really well with them, top notch. Second is she's good with kids. It's almost wifey material. If she's really good with kids, you know, these aren't in any particular order. She loves to cook, let me tell you. Fourth, uh, she she loves to do laundry. She has to love to do laundry because mm. you know what I mean? She doesn't have to love to do laundry, but if she does, it's a big plus. Fifth, she's super encouraging. Like when I go through my music and social media, she like encourages me through it. That is amazing as well. Six, back scratches. If she scratches your back and your arm and your neck and stuff like that, like gives you the tickle me nicies, it is incredible. Nobody I'd, calls them tickle me nicies I'd wipe her. I'd wipe her up on the spot. All right, and last but not least, this one is very, very important. Actually, this one goes before everything else. This wow. is actually the number one position thing. Okay. She's got to be a good kisser. That's oh. it. No, nah, I'm just playing. She's got to love God a lot. Second to wearing really, really tight gym clothes. That was, that awesome. was, that was the best. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She's got to love God. Obviously over everything. We're done. Of course I wrote them down on my phone. If I give myself an honest assessment, I feel like I'm pretty good at some of these, but the cleans and laundry and honestly some of the other ones might need a little bit more work. Oof with kids. You know, I love kids, but kids seem to just like repel out of my arms. Actually, one time I dropped Austin's nephew. It's not helping my case, is it? So with that being said, now we kind of know into the mind of what Austin is looking for. And so we are going to be manipulating Austin into asking me to be his girlfriend. I'm just kidding, okay? No manipulations going on here, bro. We're just literally gonna be every single thing that Austin's looking for. Show him what he's missing out on. You know what I mean? Before we get into this craziness, it would mean so much if you guys would lick, lick, lick the like button. It would mean so much if you guys would click the like button. And if you're new, please subscribe. Be a part of this family. When you guys like and subscribe to this channel, you guys are literally the reason why my videos are performing so much better than normal. It means so much. I'm so, so thankful. I could not do this without you. So thank y'all. I can't wait to meet you. If you're new, comment below and we'll all love on you. And I hope that wasn't intimidating. But anyway, you're going to make a lot of new friends. Let's go. We're checking. We'll go find him ourselves. Okay guys, right now we're currently on the hunt for Austin. I have no idea where he is. I'm gonna be honest, the one thing I'm kind of nervous about is the good kisser part because, you know, there's a lot of reasons why I'm nervous about that one, but we're full sending it today. There he is! You've been calling me for three minutes. I called you that's, off the hook. That's two calls. Off the hook. Off the hook is at least 10 minutes. No. Hi. Hi. All right, see you later. All right, where you going? I gotta do some stuff. Not Dylan. I wish I could write out girlfriend material on that wall. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is make Austin's bed and do his laundry because he said that he likes a girl that can clean and do laundry. I'm totally catfishing him right now though because I hate making beds and I hate laundry. He knows this, but today is convincing Austin that I have girlfriend material, so we're just gonna do it anyways. Why does he have so many pillows? These are so weird. This looks like crap, but he's a boy, so I don't think he can. I don't want him to walk in. Bro, this comforter doesn't even fit his bed. He needs a girl to help him out. Put her in the car if you agree. Good enough. Okay, now we're gonna go do his laundry. 
Okay, this is Austin's closet. Put in the comments if you guys remember this guy. But I feel like this kind of looks like him. It's actually pretty clean, but he's got some clothes on the floor because we've been traveling a second. So I'm just gonna kind of put some of these away and hope that he walks in and sees me being so amazing, you know? So this side of the closet used to be our friend Malik's, but I really do believe like God brings people in and out of your life for a reason. And Malik really felt called in this season that he was supposed to do life and ministry full time with his family. And so there were a lot of tears shed. We're gonna miss Tiki a lot, but we really want him to be where God's calling him to be. And that is ministry with his family. And, and we really do wish him the best. I love him and his whole family. His mom's like my best friend. I just want to clarify something, guys. I know I'm real from material, okay? I'm just trying to make sure that everybody knows that. Hello! What are you doing? I'm hanging up your clothes! Did you make my bed? Yes! Are you- why do you have a camera? Well, I'm just bringing them along my day, but I'm hanging up your clothes. I know you hate- Are you showing them my mess right now? Guys! He hates messes, I have guys. not unpacked. He's not a messy from person. From Tennessee. Just, he hates messes, so I wanted to help you. You just decided to come hang up all my clothes? Yeah. And like my bed? Yeah. What's going on? What did I do? Nothing. I just know you hate this. You always help me. So I'm just helping you. It's so nice. So nice. You really don't have to though. I gotta, I gotta clean up my own mess. It's okay. We're a team. Oh, you just decided to do this just for no reason. Yeah, but I was telling them it feels so weird being on this side of the closet and hanging stuff up. You know yeah, what I mean? Super weird. It's sad not having Tiki here, but. It's okay. He's where God has him. Bro, you don't have to do this. I'm doing it. It really is no problem. You always help me out. Thank you. All right. Hi guys. Clean laundry girl, check. So yesterday I made Austin this really good banana chocolate chip bread. See, this isn't even fake. Oh, he does not like paper plates. He's so bougie. So the next thing he said that he wanted was a girl that loves to cook and boy do I love to cook and I know how. I know, this one is one that I had down. I feel like this is common knowledge though. A way to a guy's heart is his stomach. But honestly, I feel like it's a way to a girl's heart too. Put it in the comments if you guys agree. Maybe it's just me. I want some of this so bad. Oh yeah, all butter, hold the bread. Skip girl from material, he's gonna wipe me up. I'm gonna eat this whole thing if we don't go. Hands full, no problem. This is amazing. Austin, where are you? Trying to work. Hello. Trying to work on important stuff. Yeah, cause you're a hardworking boy. I'm a hardworking man is what I, that deserves a piece of banana bread. What is up with you today? Yeah. No, not yeah. What's going on? I don't know. You trying to butter me up for something. What's going on? Nothing. You're just such a hard worker. You deserve what is it? to eat good food. Tell me what this is. It's banana bread. It's the one I made for you yesterday. I will determine whether or not this is good. Cause you know. What do you think? Shh. Would you marry that bread? This is really good. Why, why, you made my bed, clean my clothes. What is this? Fun. It's just fun? Yeah, well, honestly, I bake for myself. Like, I just love cooking. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would marry this bread right here. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we were looking for right there. Huh? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I've been reading through the book of Nehemiah in the Bible and y'all, it is so good. I would encourage you guys to read it. But right now, I got Austin a coffee. I'm gonna call him, ask him to come out here. We're gonna cross off the loves God. I don't even have to fake that one. I genuinely love him so much. And I'm gonna get him a coffee and maybe give him some back scratchies because he said he likes that too. Hey, are you home? Yeah, I just got home back. Hey, I got you a Lamont. If you come to the front porch. Really? What did you get? The Biscoff. <laughs> I'm on the front porch. All right, I'm coming. This book is actually so good, y'all. It talks about the story of Nehemiah in the Bible when he's rebuilding the walls in Jerusalem and how there was so much opposition against like the things that God called him to do. And I love this verse. It talks about in verse 17 in chapter four, the laborers carried on their work with one hand supporting their load and with one hand holding their weapon. It just really like reminds me and it should remind us that whenever God calls us to do something, there is going to be opposition. People are gonna lie about you. People are gonna try to stop the work that God has for you. But as long as you continue to push forth and you defend at the same exact time, there is nothing that can ever stop what he has told you to do. It doesn't matter who lies about you. It doesn't matter who tries to set you up for failure. God will fight your battles and his work will finish. Hey! Guys, the coolest thing about Allie is when she preaches. No, I honestly, amazing. I've been going through the book of Nehemiah. I think I like finish it tomorrow. I read two chapters a day. I'm pretty close. But look, I got you a coffee. Come Austin is amazing. the best too. I don't know if you guys watch us on live, but he has such a gift for pastoring and just like sharing the word of God and making it relatable to people because so many times it's so confusing. That's straight up. No, it really is. Austin has so many amazing qualities. You're she patient, does too. Allie does too. You're kind. If you guys have not heard Austin's ability to play the piano and the guitar, like when he plays those, like honestly, the spirit of God just moves through him. God has given you such an amazing ability to just be able to like write new songs, but I tell you this all the time. Thank you. And my favorite quality, 
about Ali, hands down. No, this is about you. No, this is not. My favorite quality about Ali, hands down, is okay, tell when us. she preaches. And when she worships too. It's amazing. When I first saw you, like a long time ago, you were like worshiping. I was like, dang. I like remember that day. I That's remember awesome. the first day that you came to Jaywalkers, and I feel like I was on like this side of the floor on my knees or like something. Looking at the stage? Yeah. Yes. Was I on my knees? Yeah. You were in a gray t-shirt. I know what t-shirt you're talking about. It had like white letters and then kind of yellow letters, maybe? I think so, yeah. I don't really know. It doesn't even matter. But you're so awesome, Oz. You are awesome, too. You're such a hard worker. You didn't even try your coffee yet. I didn't, but I'm sure it's amazing. You just have a devotion? Yeah. And then I got a coffee. Amazing. Fun stuff. Oh, yeah. You're amazing. Thank you. What are you doing today? This? I'm not moving. You're so funny. Why do you stop? Don't stop. I'm sorry. I'm Don't sorry. Don't stop. Oh, your mom's calling. My mom's calling? Yeah. Why is that? Hello? Hey. Hey. You? What you doing? I'm just cleaning my house. What are you doing? I'm just hanging with Austin. What's up, mama? We're sitting outside. All right. I'm looking forward to lunch next week. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. Wait, you guys are going to lunch? Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be fun. So Wait, when did this happen? It's a girls trip. It's Wait, a girls when, trip. When did this happen though? I don't know, just like last few days. Yeah, we just planned a fun Hang lunch out. day. Hang out, That's cook so some fun. bread maybe. I know. Right. I still got a new bread in the oven. I know. I really do have to show you how to do that. I might go over to Ariana's house next week. Um, and you should come. She wants fun. to teach me how to cook sourdough. That would be so fun. So fun. Machine. We gotta do it the real way. Deal. Well, I'm excited. Oh, I'll teach you. I'm a bread chef. I love to cook. I need to learn. Thank you. I got to. Well, I love you so much. I saved you some dessert. Yay! I want it. Take it. Cause I got it. I love you. Love you so much. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Wait, when did that happen? That's so cool. Oh, we planned like we've been wanting to do that. You know we've been wanting to hang out. It just that didn't, but I do now. Yeah. That's fun. I know. I'm super excited. That's really fun. Your mom is so fun. No, she is. She's amazing. I love her. That's true. What you doing now? Oh, the rest really of the good. day. I think I'm just gonna finish cleaning. Okay, sounds good. I might right. um come over a little later. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, it's okay. I forgot the camera was rolling. Okay, bye off. See you later. Bye. All right, guys, this is going so good. And honestly, I'm shocked. We only have two more left. We have the good with kids, and we're gonna find the dog and use the dog because what else am I gonna use to prove that I'm good with kids? And good kisser and tight gym clothes. I'm not putting on tight gym clothes, okay? I ain't about that. Modest is hottest, ladies. Don't even, okay? We're staying in the sweats. Well, let's go find the dog. Gatsy! Hi, dear buddy. I'm excited to use you right now. Yes, you're so cute. You're perfect for the part I need. Dad, what did you do? <laughs> Why? Get on it. Are you ready to go to the nature trail? Uh, wow, you were close. Yes, I'm ready. Guys, Austin needs a break from all of his hard work today. So we're going on a drive and a little walk. Okay, will you hold this really quick? I gotta go. I always get stuck holding the camera. Why me? Why me? Hello there. Right there on the table. How are you? This is fine day. Yes, very nice. The nostrils. Oh, look at him go. Wait, are we taking gases? Oh, yes, we are taking my kid. Your kid? Oh, yes. Come on. Okay, Austin, let's go. Bro, he's loving every second of that. Thank you so much. Bye, Mom. Bye. Give her a lick. Oh, yes. Bro, oh, yes. look at him. He's so happy. Oh, he's so happy. He loves you so much. <laughs> okay, Gatsby. Ready, buddy? All right, let's go. Wow. Come on. He's like, he's trying to push open the door. Ah, watch him. Watch him. All right. Gatsby. <laughs> Little fluffy, buddy. The great Fatsby. Oh, Fatsby. He's my son. Oh, got you. He's so happy. Gatsby is the best dog in the world. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, come on. Oh, yes. He's so cute. Look at him go. Little fatty. Look at him go. I love him. I didn't really Size like him at first, but fatty. I really miss Dash, and I still miss Dash, but he's kind of starting to act like Dash, so I'm liking him a little more. No, he was very untrained in the beginning. That's oh, why he didn't so like bad. him. Oh, you just my little buddy. You love me so much. He's so cute. Oh, he's cute and wanting to jump is what he is. All right, here Time we to go. go. Bye -bye. Time to go to the bye bye's. Why don't Abby, you just, Austin and Gat. Why don't you walk him? He's just my little baby. I'm his mother. You legit, you're, you're taking good care of him. If, if that's your baby, you're taking really good care I of him. I thought you got me. Oh, your mom has. I'm not your mom, I'm your son. Wait. <laughs> I'm not your mom, I'm your son. Should I let him walk? You're gonna let your baby walk like that? Oh, he ain't no baby. He's a monster. He's <laughs> rare. Look at him. The thing about Gatsby, he holds like an endless amount of pee inside of him. If, when you go on a walk with him, I've never seen. There he goes. A dog mark his territory so much. Oh my gosh, please don't see the gecko. Please don't see the gecko. Oh, he survived. This is like my favorite place ever. This is the place I used to come before Brazil when like God answered all those prayers for me. I love it. Uh, this might be really windy in here. Yeah, let's go. Come on, buddy. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I left this pup seat at home. This pup seat? Does he have a pup seat actually? No, but we should invent that. That would be cool. Imagine a car this. seat for puppies. Imagine this. A car seat for dogs, but it straps them in to where it's like positioned so they can stick their head outside of the window, yeah. but not jump. Yeah. Like it's almost like you hook it on the back like this, mm -hmm. but it's like <clears throat> facing this way so their head's out the window. That's so sick. That is amazing. Look at this shot. Look at him go. Let's push him. Stick your tongue out. That's funny. <laughs> okay, guys. Austin just went to take Gatsby inside. The last one that we have left is the kiss. I don't really know. I'm just gonna full send it and see what happens. And then we can laugh about it and be like, ah, that was a joke. Or maybe I'll kiss him on the cheek. We'll see. All I know is after today, if he doesn't think I'm girl for material, he's impossible. Okay. You know what would be so fun? Huh? Is if we had movie night in the car and we set up like a whole computer and we had four people. And it was like you could do like a double date in the car with popcorn and everything like that. Like you set it up here? Yeah, but the movie theater is just your car. That's fun. How sick would that be? Yeah, I think it'd be fun too if it was just two people and then you laid down the seat. And then you just like sat up. Like we could sit in the back so we had a lot of leg room. And then we could put the TV up, right? And then a lot of popcorn. That, yes. And leg room. Like mm. the recliner movies. No, that would be awesome. Dude, my lips are so soft. I condition them every night you condition your lips yeah well like you know how like you do like the lip scrub and like it makes it really soft that's, i didn't know that that's yeah. pretty crazy lip conditioner i probably need lip conditioner too because my lips are like really dry it's like a mask it's like more of like a mask you know mm. all right so i was thinking it could be fun if we went and saw you might not really be into that but there's a new like mario live action movie mm, yeah pass you know see that's pass. what i was assuming i was assuming that's you were a say you and pass. dylan movie he already saw it now there's nobody else who would go okay, see Okay, I'll it go with see me. it with you. Thank you, okay. Honestly, now that you know about my lip conditioning, we might not even have to watch it anyway. What do you mean? I'm so kidding. Oh, my dad's right there. Hey. <laughs> Did he just open the door and walk away? You too. Where is you he? Too. Where'd he, he go? Walk, he walked away. Andy, who's... Do you want to see a funny video that I found? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What you doing? Nothing. Were you trying to kiss me? Huh? No, I was swerving you. You were swerving. You were swerving me. I was swerving. You were you. swerving me. Really? I wasn't really gonna kiss you, Austin. Oh. Uh, no, I was gonna go. You were. I I turned. I turned. No, you didn't even let me do it. You made it really awkward, bro. How did I make that awkward? Because I was gonna go swerve but then you like did weird stuff and then it made me like feel I just weird looked over no it's the moment was there you lost it now it's gone now you'll never know because i declined your movie offer she tried to kiss me i did not try to kiss you i was gonna swerve you, you. Tried i was to gonna kiss swerve me. you i was gonna swerve you you tried to kiss me no 100 is this thing still recording yes it's still recording i was gonna swerve right you. right in the comments if she tried to kiss me right okay well well what don't act like you weren't excited a little i didn't know what was happening yeah so is there anything you have to ask me is there anything I have to ask you? Dad, today's been a fun day, hasn't it? What has gotten into you today? Today's been fun, has it not? No, it's been fun. On a scale of 1 to 10, how fun? It was a pretty 10 out of 10 fun day. Yeah, so do you have anything to ask me? I do, actually. What? You got any more of that banana breath? No! Why are you acting so weird right now? You just tried to kiss me. How else am I supposed to act? I wasn't trying to kiss you. Yes, you were. I was trying to be everything that you said is girlfriend material. <laughs> okay, everything. I didn't know you were actually going to do it. I did. I tried to be everything that was girlfriend material. You didn't even ask me nothing you didn't even say nothing you don't even know what's going on you're oblivious no i noticed stuff was no, going on not. i no. totally did no i literally did every single thing on your list except for the tight gym clothes that might be why i didn't notice okay now that's ridiculous <laughs> get out i'm kidding <laughs> I'm over it. Next time you're going to kiss me, own it and actually do it. I, I was owning it. No, you weren't. Nope. You said you were going to swerve. Well, I guess we'll never know. All right. Was I girlfriend material today and always? Today and always. Yeah, people need to know. No, you did a good job. You no, did a good job. today and always. Not, we'll, see always? we'll see if this continues. We'll see. Oh my gosh, like, guys. Like I just unlocked happens, the whole. If this oh happens every once in a while or if this is like a consistent thing. You know I'm what I mean? I'm consistently like this except for the room cleaning. I agree with you there. Yeah. I should clean my own room. I need that just for me. Yeah, I feel you. So Well, I'm, well, I'm looking forward to the meal. All right, canceled. Cancel Austin 2023. Well, guys, that was the end of today's vlog. I really don't know how I feel about today's vlog. And honestly, I feel like I did a great job of showing Austin yeah. the qualities that aren't even fake. I didn't even have to manipulate him into believing that I was girl for material. I literally just am. And it just exudes from me. And I, it was so natural for me to just fit every check, every box on your list. I am so thankful for the opportunity to get to do this. You're welcome.
All right, this is awkward. This is really awkward. All right, so. Okay, we're finishing this. I gotta leave. Um, You're making Don't this forget weird. to like and subscribe You're to this channel this if you want more yeah, awkwardness and yeah, yeah, you want to be yeah. friends because I love having friends and it means the world all when right. you guys do it. Goodbye. All right, bye. God's got great plans for your life and I will see y'all next time.